Hi everyone, Ace here from GeekTab, back with another video. Today we're taking a look at the HTC Desire 626S. In the box, we have the phone, SIM card, start guide, micro USB cable, extra SIM card tray, and a one amp wall adapter. The phone has an all plastic build, but it still manages to feel solid in the hand. The dimensions are as follows, 5.7 by 2.7 and just over eight millimeters thick, weighs in at about 140 grams. Available in a variety of different color combinations, including white with beige, purple and red, and a few more. All across the perimeter, we have a soft touch finish, which does provide a decent grip. On one side, we have the volume rockers with the same soft touch finish and also the power button, but with a different brush metal texture, which should help distinguish between the two. On the other side, we have a large cover, which shelters the nano SIM card slot and external memory card slot, which supports micro SD up to 200 gigabytes. At the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And at the bottom, we have a micro USB 2.0 port for charging and data transfer. The back is non-removable and has a glossy finish which tends to be a fingerprint magnet. There is an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash which can record 720p at 30 frames per second. Features like autofocus, smile detection, panorama and HDR are available. There is a noise cancelling microphone located next to the camera and at the center is the HTC logo. Camera quality is not something to brag about. As you can see in these images, there's plenty of background blur and noise distortion, both indoors and outdoors. So if you're looking to buy this phone based on the camera quality, maybe look somewhere else. On the front, we have a five inch HD display, which supports multi-touch and also has light and proximity sensors. The resolution is 1280 by 720, along with a PPI of 294. Screen to body ratio is approximately 66.2%. On the top and bottom, we have the speaker grills, of which only the top functions as a speaker and the bottom houses the microphone. This time, a more subtle HTC logo is located at the bottom. The front facing camera is two megapixels, which can also record 720p at 30 frames per second. It's running HTC Sense version 7, which is a modified version of Android 5.1 Lollipop. The UI is clean and simple, there is some bloatware, but not overwhelming. The Sense UI does deliver a fun overall experience, in my opinion anyway. The usual HTC essentials are available. Blink feed, which lets you stay up to date with your friends on social media, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Zoe Highlights, which lets you create mini movies from your photos, videos, and music. Unfortunately, gestures like double tap to wake and swiping up during standby mode are unavailable. Storage, eight gigabytes of internal storage out of which 3.2 gigabytes is usable. The battery capacity is 2000 milliamps. It's non-removable. It should get you through a full day of mixed use, but it can change based on your level of usage. But if you find yourself with a 10% battery life at the end of the day, you can enable power saver. It will dim your screen and restrict performance. There's also another option, extreme power saving mode, which will completely simplify the UI and give you access to the bare essentials. Running the phone is a quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 210 chip clocked at 1.1 gigahertz and an Adreno 304 GPU backed by 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, Wi-Fi 802.11, Bluetooth 4.1, navigation of course, along with LTE connectivity for multiple bands. The lack of NFC and wireless charging did not come as a surprise at this price point. Performance was mostly acceptable. During gaming, we did not notice a dense amount of lag. Although while testing the games, the only apps installed were the games themselves, along with the preloaded stuff. Of course, it would not be uncommon to see lag from time to time. Overall, for the price, availability on a wide range of carriers, along with an attractive build, there's not much to argue about. So that has been the tour of the HTC Desire 626S. Hope you enjoyed watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.